It's time for another popular request from the comments section this week, as we look at the history of the triple-changing bot-for-hire who's recently stepped into the spotlight, Double Dealer. The original Double Dealer toy was first released in 1988 and transformed into a missile transport truck. Though sold in Decepticon packaging, the character was actually an unaligned mercenary, a ruthless backstabber who was loyal only to the highest bidder. The toy was a Power Master, a kind of transformer who came packaged with a partner minifigure that transformed into an engine for their vehicle mode, which unlocked the toy's ability to transform once fitted in place. Double Dealer's unique gimmick was that he came with two partners, the humanoid Knock and the bat-like Scar, who each unlocked a different transformation. When Knock was plugged in, Double Dealer could convert into a robot bearing Autobot symbols, but when Scar was in place, he became a Falcon sporting a Decepticon insignia. Double Dealer used these two forms to live a secret double life, conducting dealings with both factions. It was an intriguing concept, so it was unfortunate that Double Dealer didn't appear in any American media. However, he did feature in a short story in the Transformers comic published by Marvel in the United Kingdom. In this showcase tale, Double Dealer, operating under the alias Dealer, used his Decepticon form to steal battle plans from the Autobots and hold them for ransom. Then he switched to his Autobot guys and, using the name Double, volunteered to be the one to deliver the ransom, then simply pocketed the payment and sold the plans to the Decepticons to double his profits. But while Western audiences had little exposure to Double Dealer, it was a different story in Japan. For its Japanese release, the Double Dealer toy was sold in Autobot packaging and given a modified color scheme and a new name, Double Clouder. But that wasn't all that was different about him, as the character and the Power Master concept in general were heavily reimagined for the Japanese market. In Japan, Power Masters were known as God Masters. Rather than Cybertronians bonded to tiny partners, Godmasters were lifeless Transformer mecha, known as Transtectors, that were controlled by human beings, who used Master Force technology to transform their bodies into engines and become one with the robots. Reconciling this new story with the Double Clouder toy's unique two-partner gimmick posed something of a challenge. Early artwork suggests the initial idea might have been to have the Transtector be shared by two humans, the Autobot allied Shinichi and the Decepticon allied Mayumi. But these plans were ultimately discarded in favour of one human who wore two different suits of Master Force armour, a mysterious young man named Clouder. Clouder enjoyed a prominent role in the Japanese original animated series Super God Master Force, though the animation didn't use the modified colours of his Japanese toy, instead colouring him just like Double Dealer. In the series, Clouder became a Godmaster when he found and bonded to one of the Transtectors hidden on Earth by the evil alien Devil Zed. A huge military weapons geek, Clouder decided to join up with the Decepticons because he thought they were cooler, and proved his strength to them by fighting and defeating the Seacons. He was then assigned the job of Spy, and used his robot form to infiltrate the Autobot ranks. The Autobots eventually figured out Clouder's ruse and took him prisoner, but not before he was able to get intel on their base to the other Decepticons. However, when the villains then laid siege to the base, the Seacons abandoned Clouder to die in the blaze. Autobot medic Minerva rescued him, and his eyes opened to the heartlessness of the Decepticons, the guilt-wracked Clouder joined the Autobots to make amends for his misdeeds. In the final battle, Clouder was forcibly separated from his Transtector by Devil Zed, who used his powers to bring the machine to life as a true super robot lifeform. Clouders reappeared in a few Japanese series over the years, having grown up to become a member of the military. In the storyline of 2012's Transformers United EX, he was the pilot of the Transformer mecha Assault Master. 
and in 2017, a new Headmaster figure of him was released in the Transformers Legends toy line, which converted into a head that could connect to the larger figures in the series. Back in America, though, it would be nearly 20 years before Double Dealer would get his first starring role, which eventually came in 2006, when he was introduced into the world of IDW Publishing's Transformers comic books. In this series, Dealer was his true name. Double Dealer was a nickname given to him by Banzaitron, head of the Decepticon Secret Service, who had hired him to infiltrate an Autobot mission to the planet Key Alita and steal the object of their quest, an ancient, all-knowing artifact called the Magnificence. Dealer sabotaged the mission from within, killing the rest of the team, except for unit leader Hot Rod, who, unaware of Dealer's betrayal, escaped with the Magnificence and hid it away. The story climaxed in Double Dealer's own self-titled Spotlight One-Shot, in which Dealer convinced Hot Rod to take him to the Magnificence's hiding place by suggesting they could use its wisdom to help the Autobots in their current battle against Nova Prime. Unfortunately, Dealer was just a bit too insistent, and Hot Rod got suspicious, prompting him to ask the Magnificence if Dealer had betrayed his team. When the Magnificence revealed that he had, Hot Rod blasted Dealer and sent him plummeting to his doom. The first new toy of Double Dealer was released in 2014 as part of the Transformers Generations toy line. The figure was a retool and recolor of the Generations Blitzwing toy, and so transformed into a tank and a jet fighter rather than Double Dealer's classic modes. But that would be rectified for his next toy, released in the War for Cybertron Earthrise line in 2020. This figure was a faithful update of the original, complete with all three modes. And though he lacked the Power Master gimmick, new toys of Knock and Scar were available to purchase separately, reimagined as cassette transformers who could fit inside Double Dealer's chest plate. This new toy netted Double Dealer his first appearance in an American Transformers cartoon, when he was featured in Netflix's tie-in Earthrise animated series as the leader of a crew of mercenaries hired by the Quintesson, Decius, to capture the Autobots. When Decius refused to pay him, however, Double Dealer turned on the Quintesson and helped the Autobots escape. Then he promptly turned around and sold them out to the Decepticons instead. But Double Dealer's flip-flopping couldn't save him when a furious Decius caught up to him and took control of his body like a puppet, using him to attack the Autobots and Decepticons both. It's a grim fate and a high price to pay for a bot who's waited so long for the kind of fame and attention from audiences that this big mainstream role has finally brought him. But then again, Double Dealer's always said that the price of victory is never too high. And those are the basics on Double Dealer. Would you like to see more of this triple-changing robot for rent? Share your feelings in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more. Ring the bell to be notified about new episodes and get early access and leave comments before everyone else by supporting the show on Patreon.